Although it's not perfect, Apple's Password Manager app is a simple yet incredibly convenient tool included in iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia. In this video, we'll explore how this app functions as a comprehensive security hub, not only storing passwords, but also managing Wi-Fi credentials, passkeys, and two-factor authentication codes. Additionally, we'll cover how to share passwords with family and friends, and for those transitioning from other password managers, we'll also demonstrate how to export passwords from Google Chrome and import them into Apple Passwords app. Stick around to discover how this app can help you better manage your accounts and passwords. Previously known as iCloud Keychain, the Passwords app now offers a dedicated user-friendly interface, simplifying your navigation and management experience of all your accounts and passwords. To get started, locate the Passwords app on your device. This can be an iPad, an iPhone, or your Mac, or simply swipe down to search for passwords. Once you find the application, open it up, and the first time that you do, it will probably ask you to enable Face ID, Touch ID, or a passcode to protect all your data. When you first open up the application, you'll see that the home screen is divided into six main sections. And at the bottom, you'll find the option for shared groups. Let's review each section and explore the features related to them. First, let's take a look at the All section. You may see that you already have some passwords stored here, and that is because any password that you have previously saved to iCloud Keychain would have migrated over and now live in the Passwords app here. When we first open up the All section, this is the place where we'll find all our passwords and accounts for everything we saved so far in the Apple ecosystem. Here, we can browse all our accounts by alphabetical order, or here on the bottom left, you can, you can pick different ways that you want to sort your information. To review or copy and paste a password for a specific account, simply click on it and it'll reveal all the details. We can click on the edit button on the top right to edit any of the details for this specific account or to copy a password, I can simply select it and the copy password action will pop up. To add a new account or a new password to my list, I'll simply click here on the plus icon on the bottom left and I can input the details required such as the name of the account, a username, and when it comes for time for a password, I can either use the strong password suggested by Apple or I can use one of my own. I also have a place here for notes, and this is where I can type in anything I want that will help me remember what this specific account or password is for. And once I'm done, I'll simply click on save, and that account, that account will now be added here to my Apple passwords. So yes, this is great and very convenient. We have a place where we can install all our accounts and passwords, and we can select any of our accounts and edit the information. And when we click on the password itself, we'll get a pop-up saying, um, do you wanna copy this password? And we can copy the password and paste it anywhere on a website application or share it with somebody else if we need to. But that's not where the power of Apple passwords comes in. It comes in in the fact that we don't have to um, fill out or remember all of our passwords, right? And that it should do so, or it should fill them out automatically as we are navigating through our devices. So to make sure the autofill functionality is enabled correctly, we wanna go into settings, we wanna go into the general section, and we're gonna, we're gonna go into the autofill and passwords menu. Here, I have enabled autofill passwords and passkeys. I am selecting the passwords app as my main kind of application where I want to autofill from. As you can see here, I do have other password managers installed on my devices and I can select from there if I wanna autofill from those applications. Verification codes, I can delete them after using them, meaning if I do get a verification code via email or message, the iPhone or iPad or Mac will automatically delete them. And I am selecting the password application to set up authentication codes. So very simple settings, but again, you just wanna review this and make sure that everything is set up as you wish, especially if you have other password managers or authenticators that you use. So once all, all those things are set up correctly, we will now get the option to autofill our accounts and passwords, just like we did before with iCloud Keychain. So even if I'm on a website on Safari, I'll get the option here to auto-populate this account information and it'll do so but it will also work in other browsers such as Chrome. Here, I'll also get the option to autofill my account and password. Next, let's talk about passkeys. And passkeys are a new way to log into websites and applications without actually using a password. Essentially, these apps and websites are letting you sign in using your fingerprint, a face scan, or a phone lock pin, and making it much more easier and secure 
than traditional passwords. It's like a digital key is stored on your device that only you can access. And most major companies like Google, Amazon, Best Buy, eBay, etc., um, are already offering, offering these capabilities. So to create a passkey, you can simply Google it. For example, I Googled here passkeys for my Google account, and I was taken into the screen where it asked me first to log in the traditional way, and then I can go ahead and create a passkey for my Google account. I'll show you here. I found the option also for Amazon where I have the option to set up a passkey for my Amazon account, meaning I won't need to input my password um, anymore. I'll just use either Face ID or if I'm on my Mac, I'll use Touch ID to log in. So let's go back to Chrome and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and create a passkey for my Google account. But please click on press or create passkey. Then I'm going to continue and it's going to authorize via Face ID. And it's going to tell me that the pass key has now been created. So I'm going to go back to my passwords app, open it up, and I see here under pass keys, I now have a pass key created for my Google account. So I'll show you then on my computer what that looks like now that I have a pass key um, enabled. So as you just saw, we just created a pass key for my Google account. Now I am on my computer computer, and I am going trying to or attempting to log in into the same Gmail or Google account. And I'm, I'm being asked if I want to use my pass key to confirm it's really me. I'm going to say go ahead and continue. If I wanted to use my other password or my regular password, I'll just click on try another way. But see here, all I need to do now is use the Touch ID on my MacBook Pro and I will be able to sign in into my Google account. So passkeys are basically just enabling biometrics in a more secure way to log in into your apps and websites. Moving right along, the code section allows you to replace any current authenticators that you may use with the Passwords app. Authenticator codes are temporary time-based passwords that are generated by an authenticator app, in this case, the Passwords app, to verify a user's identity. They're used as part of multi-factor authentication to add an extra layer of security to online accounts. And you'll usually find them a lot in finance related applications like Robinhood, Coinbase, uh, Meritrade, etc. So to set up a new verification code, I'll simply need to go to the application or website that I'm trying to set up the code for and look for authenticator. Here I am in Coinbase and I can either copy the key or if I was on my computer, I could scan this QR code with my phone and it will take me or prompt me um, to set up the verification code. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and copy the key. Then I'm going to go back to the Passwords app. Here under the Codes section, I'm going to click the plus icon. I'm going to go ahead and paste the setup key. I'm going to click Use Setup Key. Then I need to select which account this is for. I'm going to select Coinbase. And as you can see now, I'll have a verification code here that will change every 60 seconds to uh, two minutes. I'm not really sure what the time frame is there. Um, as you can see here, oh yeah, every 30 seconds, it's going to be generating a new code. So anytime that Coinbase asks me for an authenticator code, I can come in here and copy it directly from the Passwords app. The last three sections are much more simple. The Wi-Fi section simply stores all the Wi-Fi connections and their corresponding passwords that you have accessed um, with your device. Here you can see which Wi-Fi you're currently connected to by the blue icon to the left. And what's really cool is that if you want to share the Wi-Fi information with somebody else, maybe they're asking for the network name or the password, instead of going to your router or looking at it in your settings, you can simply show them this QR code that they can scan with their device and it'll uh, connect them to the Wi-Fi. Next, the security section in Apple's passwords monitors passwords for weaknesses and data leaks, and it also provides recommendations for improving password security. As you can see here, I do have a password that apparently has been compromised, but it is for a service that I no longer use. So not really concerned about that, but I still should look into it. Then the last section is the deleted section. And here we will see all the passwords and passkeys that have been deleted recently. And we have up to 30 days to recover a deleted password or passkey for it is deleted forever. Finally, we have the shared groups section, which facilitates easy password sharing with family members or teams. You can simply create a new group, click on continue. You can give the group a name. 
and then I can click on add people and my contact list would pull up and where I can select different contacts and it will send them a message asking them to join this shared password group. From here, I can add any passwords, for example, a Netflix account that tends to be shared between different family members. I can add it to this group and now we would all have access to that username and password. So the next thing that I wanna show you is how to import passwords from different password managers or from browsers into the Apple Passwords app. Here we'll be using Chrome as an example where I'm going here on to the top right and I'm gonna go into passwords and autofill and I'm gonna select Google Passwords Manager. From here, I see that I only have one password currently stored within Google Password Manager. I'm gonna click on settings and I'm gonna click here on export passwords to download a CSV file of my passwords. I'm gonna store this here in my downloads folder. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save. Then I'm gonna go and open up the passwords app. From here, I'm gonna go to file at the very top. I'm gonna select import passwords. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a file. And then I'm gonna choose my Chrome passwords CSV and it says that passwords have successfully been imported and whether or not I wanna delete the Chrome password CSV. I'm gonna select yes. And now if I look for the specific account and password, I see here that it has been imported successfully. Lastly, before we end the video, I did forget to mention that if you are a Windows user, you can download the iCloud um, app from Microsoft Store, and that should give you access to the passwords application so that you can also autofill accounts and passwords on Windows. Now, I heard feedback from different people that this is not perfect, that sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but do let me know down below if you are or have been using it on Windows. Also, the Apple Passwords Manager app is not perfect. We're still missing the ability to save things like credit cards in the application, but I do like the fact that now we have a specific UI where we can see all our passwords, all our codes, all our passkeys, all our Wi-Fi um, credentials in a single place. And as everything Apple related, it's very simple and straightforward. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about this application, what you think of this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.